Welcome to Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel needs. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a Google Sheets file that looks into your crypto and stock holdings. It's going to give you the ability to track your uh, uh, current position and whether or not you want to continue holding that stock. It could, you can build on this your own methodology and your own metrics and understand what you need to do. If you're new to this channel, I am uh, publishing content on Excel and Google Sheets and you're more than welcome to subscribe if that kind of content is interesting for you. Okay, so let's start. This is a Google Sheets that has three simple um, sheets. The first one is the tickers where you need to write the name of the stock or the crypto coin and the ticker itself which you can find online. And you can see I have here 12 examples. And there's the daily and weekly options that we're going to use pretty soon. That's the first step. That's pretty easy. Then you go to the holdings uh, tracker. You have the first column, which is the name, which is just a drop down list. And if you don't know how to do that, you click on data here on top, data validation. And if I add a rule, I select drop down from a range, click this button, go to the area where I have the names and I like to remove the last digit because that just makes it select whatever you have there that's not a blank. So that's how I just built those um, the names and once you select um, a certain um, coin it will populate the ticker with a simple VLOOKUP that you can see over here. So you fill in the name, you fill in the purchased quantity, the date that you that you purchased it, and what was the share price at the time. This is all dummy data, uh, stock that I wish I had, but did, do not. And you can fill more than one for the same name. You see I have two lines here for Bitcoin. Uh, there's no problem to uh, have as many as you want. So those are the four inputs that you need to make. And you can see I put here a few of the of the, uh, the companies. Then the ticker, which I showed you how to pull. Then the current price, That's and this entire file is built on the Google Finance uh, formula, which is great. So Google Finance formula, and I just pull in the ticker. That's by default, that's gonna give me the current price. And you can see that it has a lot of options here and some of them we're going to use but you can get a lot of attributes you could get um, like the, the price the highest price um, you know uh, closing uh, beginning a lot of things and you can you can look it up because there are a lot of options that you can use at your fingertips so then the current value that's just the quantity uh, basically uh, what the value is today, okay? So if the price in the beginning was 2500, now it's 21,575, so the current value is higher, okay? And the change is that minus that. And I've selected the entire column and the conditional formatting, I just decided on a color scale where the minimum value Okay, you can select color scale and put the minimum value as red, maximum value as green. That's just going to give me this nice layout where I'm losing money, where I'm uh, expected to, to gain money and maybe sell the, the stock. Now, the highest price from purchase date. So here I'm using Google Finance and now I'm also including the text, the attribute price, but I'm also giving them, giving, um, the start date and the end date. Okay, so on its own, what this and I'll show you what this does on its own. If we take out uh, this one and we take out this one, so you can see what it looks like. So just the Go the Google Finance price for between two dates. That's going to give me um, this array. 
with the date that you see as a uh, as a <laughs> money, but it's actually the date. So you have the date and the closing value. And what I did, I you can see I added an index, so the index will return just the second column. So I have the closing date, and um, I'm going to use the max on that. So I'm basically getting the max value of that column, which gives me that 141. I'm doing the same thing for the minimum. So I'm getting the highest price between the purchase date and today and the lowest price. And I'm referencing here the cell with the formula instead of putting it inside the formula because it's going to work a bit quicker if you reference it. So that's yeah, that's how you can use this to to calculate max, minimum, average. You can you can play with that array because it's dynamic. Here you go. This is where I am using it uh, to calculate the average. All right. And here I gave an option to switch between uh, a daily and a weekly. Okay. Using the the one of the Google Finance, which is the interval. And I'm referencing, this is where the drop-down list is needed because you need the exact text. So you can look at a daily average or a weekly average from the purchase date to today. This is supposed to give you some sort of indication on you know the current price and uh, whether or not it's a good time to sell. Or you can use this to build your own model. Um, you can also have a last six weeks average price and you can play with this number over here and that's going to affect and again this is using um, the same method okay uh, so this is going to show you the last six weeks or the last whatever and the text also was, I didn't show you I'm using text plus referencing a cell just to have a dynamic same for here this is nice. This is the 12 week spark line that I built. So you can see a chart of the last 12 weeks of the stock or uh, coin price. And spark line needs the actual data. So uh, that's why I had to build this uh, table. So I have here basically I'm taking um, 12 months prior to today and just adding a week every time. Okay, and you can, you can of course play with this, do whatever you want. And then just using the formula sparkline area, and here in the options, you see you can add, for example, I changed the color to be blue, but you can really play with this and build it however you want. So this gives you like a nice view of your holdings. Uh, pretty simple, but you can, you can use it, and it's Google Finance, so it's free. You don't have to pay anything to get the, the information, and it's updated all the time, you can see. Uh, that you get this message below because it's always checking the, uh, the, uh, the data. The last thing that I put here, and which I think is also nice, is a trend chart where you can just select one of the um, uh, stocks or coins that you want. You can input the start date, like 2019, and you can also look in a weekly or daily interval to see the price change. And you get this chart dynamically, very easy to do, very nice. You can switch to Tesla and look at Tesla, and uh, you can see the trend. Uh, it's very easily built. Uh, over here is the data, and if you paid attention before, it's just, again using the Google Finance, uh, looking for the price for this uh, ticker between uh, whatever the start date and today and weekly interval and just going to give me these two arrays with the date and the closing price and then I just have um, the chart I build a simple chart on it which um, and you see I'm taking a huge range so no matter how many lines I have it's gonna be uh, visible so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this content and the tracker. Um, let me know in the comments if you do or if you want to receive the file. And I hope to see you next time. Please subscribe. Hit that like button. Take care now.